So, uh, your thoughts on, on CJ getting the start here? I mean, what have you seen over the last few weeks and months leading up to this that, that gives you confidence that he's the guy? Um, I think he's ready. Um, I think he's very mature for his age. He takes takes things very serious and he uh, pays attention a lot. Um, he's shown it in practice, and we just have the utmost confidence in him to get it done. Does it help sometimes to have that youthful exuberance too around the locker room? Yeah, of course it does. I mean, I'm old, so <laughs> having young guys around with a lot of energy helps. In the last few years, you guys have gotten the better of Clemson two times at home, but what would it mean to do that on the road? I mean, that would be that would be a great thing to do. Um, they win a lot down there. The environment that they have down there is very electric, very hostile. So being able to go down there and do that would be great. What was it like for you to see a guy like Devon kind of slot into the game on Saturday and kind of make a big impact? Yeah, yeah Marshall? Yeah. I mean, I'm proud of him. Him and um, Jackson Vick, they both played their butts off. Um, they did good. They played within the scheme of our defense, and I think they did a really good job. What has allowed you guys, you think, to be successful against Clemson in the last couple of years? Just the way we play. Um, we take pride in straining effort um, and just being dogs on the field, dominating up front. You've got a lot of new faces on this team. How do you describe this game to them? Like the Clemson versus the State game? Um, I mean, I would just describe it as another rivalry. Um, it might not be UNC, but it's, it's another type of opponent that we want to go out there and beat. So I just describe it as another rivalry. I know you probably don't look at the lines, but it's a 20 point, you guys are 20 point underdog. Is, is that disrespectful to this program? Um, I mean, I, yeah, like you said, I don't look at the lines, but I mean, we like being considered the underdogs. Um, we like being looked at like we can't do it because we like proving people wrong. So, And even on that note of proving people wrong, like Tennessee it was a chance to maybe do that. It didn't go your way. Do you look at this as a, a chance of redemption there to get kind of get that back, rewrite your image? Um, I kind of just look at it as its own game. Um, mm -hmm can't consider them anything like Tennessee because Tennessee's Tennessee, but Clemson is Clemson. Like I said, they treat them like their own opponent. Um, just another game that we want to win, the same way we want to win every game. You played really well against Clemson here last year. Um, just you, you were able to, to put pressure on Cade Klubnik. What is it about their scheme that maybe you, I don't know, it feels like you, you just look so much more, you look so comfortable playing against them. What is, what is it about that? Um, Honestly, I just, I don't know, that's a good question. Um, I would just say that the way they fire off the ball, it's not overly aggressive. They kind of just look to position block and, um, you know, we always focus on dominating, getting off the ball, firing off the ball, and that's something that we've been working on. So I can like, I guess just fight my, my head off and be on the head off and that. As one of the, the leaders, captains, what are you doing to kind of help CJ Bailey's life be easier this weekend? Um, I kind of just try to remind him every day that he just doesn't need to stress. Um, he has the ability. He's done it before. It's just football. Because um, I know that, you know, being a freshman, not playing, like, any having one game last week right. and going down to Death Valley, that, that can be tough mentally. So I kind of just try to remind him just play football and remember that he just has the ability to do it. You've now tipped two passes that led to pick sixes. Uh, is, was there more of an emphasis on that this offseason, or do you just feel like those are the opportunities that have come yeah, I mean, just reaching for the ball has just been a real big emphasis on our pass rush. Um, we got a new GA this year, and he's done a really good job of emphasizing that, you know, throughout drills and just building that habit. Safe to say that start of, at the start of the third quarter was an angry NC State defense. <laughs> yes, and so. what does an angry NC State defense get done? Yeah, we played we play really well. Um, you know, that's one of our, our goals this week is kind of not wait till the second half to do that, not wait till our backs against the ropes, just come out firing and be that way the whole four quarters. This is the start of ACC play for you all. Just there's the goals and hopes and dreams of winning the conference, but a win on Saturday, how does that set the tone for the rest of conference play? Um, I think it would be a little bit confidence boost for us. Um, you know, we've struggled a little bit in the start of the season, and I think that's something we need. Just go out there and get things done. Thank you, Savannah.